Hey everyone, in today's video I wanted to show you how I use this cuticle stick, this manicure stick, because a lot of the viewers were asking me how to use it. Uh, some people are having issues with scratching their nails with it, so that's not good. So in today's video I'm going to show you exactly how I use it. Okay, so I just did my nails and I filed them really short because I just did a video on how to shape the nails and the video did not record properly. So I don't have that video. So I have to wait for my nails to grow to make another one. But hopefully this will work. All right, so first of all, we need to understand what cuticle is. And I'm going to link a very important video for you to watch at the end of this video. So you can watch this video and then you can watch the other video. But very quickly, I'm going to explain. So there are two pieces of skin on the nail. And one is living skin, which is also called technically the technical name for it is proximonial fold. So this is the proximonial fold. And there is also cuticle, which is a non-living tissue. It's a dead skin. And the cuticle is underneath the proximonial fold. So you can actually see here the cuticle peeking through from underneath here. This is cuticle. But very often the cuticle actually is very invisible. So there is still cuticle on the snail. So I'm going to show you how to use the stick and how to remove it. So if your skin, again, I have a lot of people asking if this skin, so that's not a cuticle, but this skin is overgrown and a total mess. What I recommend that you do is every couple of days, just take a manicure stick like this and just very, very gently with the side of it, just like this, push it back just like this, without doing anything else. That way this skin will not stick to the nail because when it sticks to the nail, it starts, as the nail is growing, the skin starts stretching. So what you really, what you really have is a stretched proximal nail fold or stretched skin, not overgrown. All right, so here's what we have. I haven't done these nails for like at least 10 days and I recommend doing manicures every week. So normally what I actually do is I push back that skin before a manicure, just a little bit. And when it's dry, believe it or not, just like this, just a little bit. So you see this one is pretty, pretty stuck. And I was just looking at the camera when I did that. So you want to make sure that you are very flat with the nail. I need, I need good glasses. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Just just with the side of the stick, just stick, just separate this a little bit and push it back. I'm going to do the same thing here. So this is how I hold it. And I support my hand. Just like this. Support my hand. Just tiny bit. Because when you do this on a regular basis, the skin is not going to, like I mentioned, grow with the nail and then there is nothing to cut. It's going to be super, super easy, everything. All right, so the next thing that I'm going to do is, I'm going to use Blue Cross. And I'm just going to paint it on this area where the cuticle is. And I'm going to do one hand at a time. So usually it needs like twice. It soaks in pretty quickly. So always remember that these products, the cuticle remo removers are quite alkaline. So you don't want to leave them on the skin for too long. So now I'm going to wait a minute and I'm going to use this cuticle stick. And this stick is from Mont Blue. I should have mentioned that earlier and available in Europe, but there are very similar tools available from Germanicure in the US, and I'm going to leave a link below as well. Okay, so two minutes are over, and I'm going to now rinse this hand. What you can do, you can just wash your hands, make sure that it's really, the product is removed. And now we'll grab this side, 
So this side is a little bit abrasive here, but it's quite smooth over here. So this side, it's not going to scratch the nail. And what I do is I use this, this side here to now do these little circles. So now the cuticle is soft enough that we can just remove it. It doesn't have to be perfect, we will still go back to it. And now I'm going to use this side of the tool. Even this side actually. Very, very gently. Okay, again, doesn't have to be perfect, and we'll get back to it. Little circles. And if the skin is giving you a lot of resistance, don't push it too much. We're aiming for progress and not perfection. With time, this is going to get better. Okay, same thing here. Little circles. So I'm doing this. Because we don't necessarily want all that skin jammed underneath, all that cuticle underneath that area. So it's almost like kind of pushing and pulling a little bit here. This is this side has a perfect sharpness. It's not too sharp and it's not too dull. Super satisfying. Okay, this part is done. And now I'm going to use this side of the stick. And this side is a little abrasive. It's not very abrasive, but it, it is abrasive. So you wanna make sure that you're not putting too much pressure because you can damage the nail if you put too much pressure. So I'm going from the middle. And I'm not jamming this underneath the skin. I'm using it flat. And then from the middle, here and you can see there's not a lot of dust or anything like that being made because if you see a lot of dust that means that the nail is being filed so again from the middle down from the middle down And let's do this one. And again, if that skin is overgrown and it doesn't look very good, don't worry about it. Just keep doing this once a week and this will improve. And of course, use the creams that I recommend because that skin needs to be nice and elastic in order to bounce back nicely. Okay, here. See, I didn't push this one back for like 10 days, and that's why it kind of stretched a little bit. But that's okay. It will bounce back. I'm going to leave it because if I cut it, it's going to get thick. And calloused. So you can help yourself even with the towel a little bit.
There's this little edge here. that I'm just going to snip. That's it. And the rest I'm going to leave. Now we're gonna repeat the same thing on the other hand. I do that twice. And I'm going to wait for two minutes, a minute or two. I'm going to rinse. And I'm going to use this side again and now I'm going to use this piece obviously with your non-dominant hand it's a little bit more difficult but you'll get used to it okay now I'm gonna use this end very very gently okay you can put your hand flat little circles So I'm trying to just remove that skin from the surface of the nail. I'm not really trying to shove that skin under the fold. Okay, this does not have to be perfect because we're going to go back with the other end all right okay so the other end from the middle down from the middle down you can always help yourself with the towel get this later And I have to say, I can really see a difference when I push back that skin every few days and when I don't. Because this time I didn't. I really wanted to make this video very realistic. So if you push it back more often, this is going to be have a much more cleaner look. And when I do it every few days, I don't use any cuticle remover, nothing like that. Just, just push it back and then just put oil and cream on. Remember not to use too much pressure here because this nail is forming, it's very soft in this area. So you just wanna clean this up very gently.
I'm gonna go back to this, give it a little snip, and that's it. There's a link to these ones in the description box as well. If you are polishing your nails, you might want to use a very soft buffer. What I sometimes do, I just run the file against the, the edge and you can just use that buffer to just very, very gently smooth this area, the cuticle area right here, just so there is no catches when you're polishing, but do this very, very, very gently. You can, you can hear that I'm not putting pressure at all. I'm not going like this with the buffer. If you're not polishing, then you can just apply oil and you're done. Just this little tiny edge. Again, I'm not gonna go into and trim this whole skin because this is a living skin, but any catches you can safely remove. And you know what, I know it's tempting to cut the skin, but because the skin right now it's dry and pushed back, that's what it looks like. The best thing to do is just to apply oil. And this skin is not going to bother you at all. Rub it in. There we go. Okay, hope this video helped you. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the, in the comment section. And again, the links to these products are in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye. Okay, so I just put on a coat of clear nail polish and I just wanted to show you how the manicure looks. So as you can see, much better.